So we are live in Facebook. This is a change. So guys, it's uh, five o'clock Eastern Standard Time in Montreal. My name is Heather Boyd of Heather Boyd Wire and we're going to do our DIY live stream today on Facebook. So here's projects we did last week. I'm going to try to keep them in the center of the screen here because when I post the video on YouTube, I'm probably going to crop it. So here's what we did last week and I'm going to just pull up on my iPad so I can see if there's any comments. So here are some of my sketches of ideas that I've been working on. So I'm working on some ideas for some rings and then also I'm going to flip this around and my idea this week was to do some trees. So what we want to do first, I think what I'll do first is show you guys how to make this star because this was sort of a continuation of last week's project was making the star and that was a special request from Clarice. So I will do that first to show you how to make the star with one piece of wire because last week we, we tried to do it with several pieces of wire and it was a big disaster because it took forever to figure it all out. So what I'm going to do is remove that and just straighten up the wire. And I got some nice hearts. Oh, thank you guys so much. And if you want to comment to let me know uh, who, who's online, because I can't always see who's on. But if you want to say hello, please uh, say hello in the comments and let me know where you are watching from. That would be awesome. So right here is... This is, I'm using aluminum wire for the sample. Sometimes it's easier because it's, well, one thing it's less expensive, but also uh, it, it makes nice crisp angles, the aluminum wire. So what we're going to do to start is just take the wire and just do a little loop in the wire, okay? So we'll just start like that. And I think I'll use these pliers, I may as well. Clarice, hey Clarice, how are you? Nice to see you, thanks for hopping on. So I'm Clarice, I'm redoing the star from last week to show you a much easier way to do it because last week we made it with several pieces of wire and it was a bit of a disaster. So what you wanna do is just measure, like take that measurement, I'm gonna do like an inch and a quarter, okay? And we're gonna do like an inch and a quarter and then we're going to just take this end so this is going to be the star, making the star with one piece of wire. So we're going to just go like that. So that's one edge of your star. And then what you want to do is just build the edges of the star. So we're just going to go around here. Okay, we're just going to go around here. It's not super easy for me to see with the camera in the way, but that's the other thing I have to work out, all the little technical glitches for this. In fact, I'm going to use my smaller pliers because I think they're going to work better. But Clarice, you're going to like this design because it's uh, much easier to do them with all the other pieces of uh, wire because before we made it with uh, several pieces. So here's, we go like that and then we're going to measure it again. So we'll just measure it the one and a quarter inches. Okay, we're going to do the one and a quarter inches again. Okay, and then we're just going to go around like this and let's go to the go behind okay and then around here and yeah so if anybody else comments I'm not sure if I'm going to see the comments or not it looks like there's three comments but I think I'm missing the comments so I'm going to have to pull it up a bit so there's the next Oh, Angelique says, not sure what we are making. Awesome. Okay, so Angelique, there, what we're making is we're doing the star to go with this design that we did last week uh, with the stones. And so instead of last week, we made it with several pieces of wire, but it was a huge disaster because it took, um, it was really hard to get it to sit properly. So now we're doing it with one piece of wire. So I'm going to start with that. And then after this, I'm going to do a tree. So I'm just measuring the sides to make sure that they're even because you always need to make sure the five points of the star are even. So we're gonna go around like this, okay? And we're going sort of up and over a bit. So just imagine a star, like it's starting to look like the star a little bit. Do you see how we're just kind of arranging it so it looks like a star? And then we, as we go, we really wanna make sure each side is the same. So they're like one, and a quarter inches uh, each side. I'm not quite sure what that is in millimeters, but I uh, usually measure by inches. 
And so we're going to go around and around. So there we have the star. And isn't that so much easier than last week? Oh boy, last week was really tricky. So we're going to go like that. And then we're going to measure the last length. And then what you would do is if you if you want to see how to do the whole project, for sure you could refer to last week's video, which is on um, YouTube. I'll link that up in the comments once I'm uh, you know once this video is posted. That's not a problem. And it's funny the, the reason I did I'm doing the live stream early this week is because I thought the daylight would be better. But now I see because the clouds are coming and going, I'm seeing that there's a bit of a shadow. So maybe my strategy backfired, but we're going to see. We're going to see how it goes. I will find the perfect solution to this. And the reason I'm doing it today and um, like earlier, because a lot of people in the UK uh, like to watch as well. And uh, I don't like it to get too late there. So here's our star. So that's pretty awesome. It's the five point star with the with the little edges and then you could do a little a little round circle to put it inside and then you can add stones. So what I'm going to do now is show you actually how to do that circle because I'm going to do another project with the circle. So we're going to use 20 gauge wire. I'm going to cut a piece that's like a decent length and then to make the little loop what we want to do is take the wire and bend it, cut it in or bend it in half because we want to start by making a loop. Oh my goodness, this is much better with the window closed. So I probably scared a whole bunch of people away at the beginning because it was the, the filming quality wasn't very good, but we'll see what we can do with this. So we're going to make like a double loop, okay? A little double loop. That's going to be the loop at the top. And then basically what you want to do is just take this and twist the wire together, okay? So we're just going to take this to make sure I'm more or less centered and we're just going to twist it around okay and you can do it with your with your hand or with your pliers so let me just bring it in a position that we can actually I'm gonna get this out of the way here so if I hold this here and just almost like a like like a like a screw or something we're just gonna it's getting a little bit wobbly some people actually do this with a uh, drill you can do that. You can attach the end to a drill and just twist it around. Now my fingers are going to have like dents in them, but we're going to do what we can here. And then the idea is you're just going to twist it around and around and around. And if you do this with a drill, it's going to be nice and uh, even. Uh, this way it's not like super even, but it's it's not too bad. And I think last week when I did the video, this part actually... Uh, cut out because when I did the video on YouTube uh, it froze and so this part we actually didn't see last week so now you're seeing how I'm doing that and we're going to you can straighten it out a little bit okay we're going to straighten it out a little bit and then we're going to get a pill bottle one of my fancy schmancy tools and just bring it around okay we're just going to bring it around like that to make your circle and then this part, you want to bend it up because this is going to be the part that goes on your cord for a necklace. Okay, so we're going to bend that one up like that. That'll go on your, on your necklace cord. And then we're going to hold this here. And then we're just going to twist these ends around. So we can twist one of these around, okay, and then cut it. And this just makes a nice little fancy frame for the trees. Now I know a lot of the people, a lot of the members of the Wire Art and Jewelry Making Club actually make these wire trees, which is super cool. So this is just another option on how to make a, a fancy, a more fancy frame for the trees. So, and then I'm gonna show you how to do, um, I'm gonna do a tree in a sort of a non traditional way. I have several ways to make the tree. Uh, I do in my wire art and jewelry making course on um, that I sell on Etsy. I do have a way of making the frame that's a or the tree that's a little bit different where you kind of 
like weave the wires together but I'm gonna try something new because on these live streams I always like trying something new so then we're gonna just lift it off and then you have your frame so that's pretty cool eh? that's pretty cool and pretty easy to do and if you want to split this open a little bit to make it look a little more fancy you can you could even do a little triple loop at the top if you want so there's our frame and then what we want to do now is take some wires. I'm going to use 24 gauge wire for this. Um, you could use 22. I wouldn't go any thicker than uh, 22 gauge and I want to be it to be a decent length. So why don't we measure it because sometimes people ask me how long these wires are and I don't always measure them so if I just go ahead and measure let's say 8 inches which is probably way too long but we're just going to measure them 8 inches and I was thinking maybe to do about five or six wires. Now, if you do use thicker wire, of course you can use less of them, but if you're using a thin wire, I think you're gonna need about five or six of them. So why don't we start with six, and then even if we need more, I might not bother using more just because I don't want it to be uh, take too long. So we'll cut six wires. Okay, and this was another, this was actually a different way I had to do it with just like a silhouette. So we could also try it that way too, but let's just start with this. And then to start the tree, all you're really going to do is just take the wires, put it inside, and then wind it in. So we're going to start with this one. Okay, so we're just going to start winding them in like that. So we're just putting them in the loop. Okay, and wind them around and this is a 24 gauge wire so it is quite skinny uh, the method that I usually do the trees is I just I put them in and then I kind of weave them together so it gives it a little bit of texture but I'm actually gonna do this in a way that most people do the trees which is basically just to twist them together which is a much Kind of quicker easier solution to that uh, so it just really depends on how you want to do it and I did a, also a live stream a little while ago that was how to make a goddess tree which was super cool so it actually looked the tree kind of looked like this the uh, skirt of the goddess which was really neat so let's bring this over to this side here we're going to do one uh, on the opposite side because you want it somewhat uh, centered okay so we're going to go in here and then so here you have kind of the beginnings of your tree. You see how they're all in there? Now if you did want to spread them out a bit, you could definitely like bring this over and spread them out to look like widen them out a little bit. So usually what people do for the trees is they just take them. Hey Carrie, how are you? Nice to see you. So we're just making the tree now. So I think what most people do is they just take these. I actually have never really made a tree like this before. I'm just kind of like winging it because I usually weave them together. But let's just try it. I think you just wind them together, which is kind of cool. And then you, I always like it when it's got like a little bit of movement to the tree. So if we just kind of go back and forth a little bit like that and then that I could catch you today. That's so awesome. Carrie, what time is it in your neck of the woods? I always lose track of where everybody is. We're uh, just after five o'clock Eastern time in Montreal. And I know Clarice would be the same time because she's in New York City, so that's pretty cool. And uh, I actually did a live stream uh, last year when I was in New York City, which was really cool. So what I'm just doing now is just separating some of these wires and the idea is just to kind of take them down and I think I may have twisted a little bit more but what you can do 320 also it's earlier there there we go and then what you can do is actually take some of these other individual uh, wires and, and twist them together and this just gives it a little bit more dimension now there's yeah, same, same there. Clarice, it's uh, same time in New York City. I want to go back to New York. We were there a couple, about a month ago, and I just love it there. It's so great. Okay, so we're just going to twist these wires together. And like I said, this isn't how I usually make the tree, but it's uh, it's kind of interesting. And I like it with the uh, with the 24-gauge wire because it 
It just means you can use more wires, which gives it a little bit more detail, which is cute. So what I've just been doing is just twisting two together, like two and two together, but let's see what happens if we twist three wires together. So if we actually twist three wires together and then we separate them, okay, and then we can just continue doing these two wires together. So it's really up to you guys to decide what kind of, you know, configuration that you want. And like I said, I could have done more, but that gives you an idea of how the tree looks like that. I would have maybe done more wires, but just for the sake of time, I'm gonna keep it simple. Now, a lot of people at this point will put stones on there, like semi-precious stones. I know there was a, someone in the group that actually did different color stones in the chakra colors, which was super cute. But because I always like to be different, I'm gonna try something a little bit different. Thanks for the hearts, guys. I'm actually going to take green wire, and what I wanna do is, I'm going to make an apple tree. So what I want is first I have to figure out what, because I want to wind it around another wire just to give it a little bit of dimension. So if I just take a piece of the 20 gauge wire, okay, I have a thicker wire too, but I, because I want it to be a little bit thin, so what I'm going to do is just wind it around this wire. It's funny because your guys' comments are kind of covering my hands here, but I don't think there's anything I could do about that. I'm going to have to check so I can, I'm, excuse me if I kind of go off the camera a little bit. So my idea was like, we're just going to like wind it a few times. Okay. And then I have these beautiful red miracle beads. I'll just bring them a little closer. I'll just show you guys. These are my beads, my favorite beads. I love these so much. And I'm just going to put them out of the way here, and I'm going to use the red miracle beads to be the apples. So these are four millimeter size, and then the idea I had was just to take it like that, hold it, and then keep winding it around the wire. So we'll do it a few times. And the reason I'm doing, um, I was inspired to do this was I'm going to bring over a custom order that I did. Uh, well, this this is sort of, I did a custom order and then I made another one after, but I don't know if you guys can see, but this is like a large tree that I made, like a 3D. So my actually my daughter made the tree part and then I did the, the, the green and the apples on the top. So this was sort of inspired by that. And so I'm going to just keep going with this. So I'm going to put a bead and then wind it three times and then I'll keep going with that. I'll just keep putting um, one bead and then I'll wind it around three times. And I'll just keep doing that until I think I have enough. And then you just kind of push it along along, this, along the side as you go. And I'm not sure how many I'm gonna use. My wire was seemed to be about 12 inches long. And the actual tree is probably about one and a quarter inches wide, the, the frame. I just used sort of a medium size pill bottle to, uh, to create the round part. I'm really happy that I was able to do that on this live stream to show you guys how to, to make that frame because last week, like I said, I had started it on YouTube and it froze. So that's unfortunate. I have a feeling we're gonna just have to do the live streams on Facebook now because YouTube is really unpredictable. Uh, unfortunately, you know, I, I really wanted to do more live streams on YouTube because um, I don't know if any, any of you are interested in, in doing YouTube, but the reason I wanted to do that was because uh, when you do live streams on YouTube, your watch time increases. And in YouTube, it's good to have a high watch time because that just means that uh, you get more traction on your channel. And uh, But I've already sort of reach the the plateau of uh, of 10k sub subscribers so I'm not as worried about that now uh, but I used to you know really try to get a lot of watch time on my channel so so I'm gonna just keep moving this along I think I have enough room for one more apple I haven't really counted them yet but I just love these miracle beads as you guys know they're just so beautiful and I use them a lot for earrings and different designs so guys here's our green for the tree and as always I don't guarantee this is going to look nice but we're going to do our best to make it look good 
and I just had a little vision that it might be cool to do this. So we have our green uh, for the leaves and the apples and then the idea is just to attach it on here. And the reason I didn't um, attach these wires yet was because I wanted to interweave it into the tree. So if we go ahead and we could actually attach this one here. Well, let's just go ahead and attach this because we're going to have to slowly start attaching these gold wires. So if I attach that one and then you're just going to clip, clip it off the back. Okay. And then we're going to attach, start attaching our green wire. Okay. So we're going to just get that one on there and start attaching the green wire. So we're going to wind it around. Okay, wind it on there and then just cut the end and then we could go ahead and pinch in the ends after. So now the idea is how are we going to get it on there so it looks kind of decent. So this is going to take a little bit of experimentation and what I wanted to do was kind of weave it in and out just to make sure it doesn't um, like it doesn't kind of fall out type of thing. So what I think I can do is just take, I'm going to take one of these wires and just put it over top and that's going to help hold it in place. Thanks for the hearts guys, that's awesome. And then we're just going to bring it down and the same here, we could just take, maybe take a wire, maybe not that one, we can just take a wire and put it like, weave it, kind of interweave it a little bit just, and that's just going to hold it in place. So if we're just going to go ahead in here and this one too, maybe we're just going to bend that one in place just to, because we really have to start clipping these wires off or they're going to just get in the way. So we're just going to see, so we have the beginning and if you did like more green wire, you would fill it in more, but for now, we're just going to see what we can do with this. So I don't know if I want to put it to the back or not. I think rather than putting it to the back, I'm just going to use these gold wires to hold it in place. And then that way I don't actually have to wrap the green wire around the back of the frame. So it just maybe saves me a little bit of wire. And then this one, we want to bring it up around here and then pinch it in as much as you need for it to uh, to look kind of somewhat uh, even because you want more. yeah so that's kind of cool it's actually working almost better than I thought it was sometimes I have these images in my head of how it's going to turn out and sometimes it turns out uh, how I imagine sometimes it turns out better and sometimes it does not turn out at all so I think this is an instance where it's going to be not too bad guys so let's just bend that and then we're going to cut that one and then of course wow that looks pretty good what do you guys think not too bad and then we're just going to have to tuck in the ends a little bit and then if you want to you can just push these in and out to see how much more you know how tight you want it in there too and so you could you could already see from this that you might want to add more green or maybe not so now at this point we just want to take these gold wires and we want to finish them all off so that's what we have to do now and um, it definitely is going to take a minute or two because there's quite a few of them but you definitely want to finish them all off hey Pat how are you hello hello so I, I think I'm catching all the comments guys if I miss any comments definitely let me know because sometimes it's I'm I'm literally just looking at this on my iPod so, and I thought I would be able to look on the, um, on my computer, but I, I don't seem to see the comments here. So let's just go ahead and finish these all up. And then you can go in after with your, with your pliers to like pinch the, the little pokey ends in because otherwise it's going to be very, very pokey. But for now, all I'm going to do is just cut these ends so you guys can see how it's going to look. So I believe I started with like six of these wires. So yeah, it definitely takes a bit of time to tuck them all in, but once they're in, you're gonna see it's gonna look really good. And then it'll just be a matter of going in after with my pliers to pinch the ends in, which I'm not gonna do right now because it's gonna take a long time, but 
I will do that after the live stream. And then as always, I always take photos of the pieces when they're done so you guys can get a better look with a better quality photo of how it looks. Oh, a sec, this thing, wait, this thing moved a little bit. Sorry about that. Okay, so we're gonna go like that. And there we have our apple tree. Phew, wow. That was quite a process, but it's cute, eh? It's not too bad. So, so far we've done the apple tree and then we've done the star. And then the other thing I wanted to try was because uh, my daughter Mimi had made me this cute little tree and now I don't even know where I put it. I'm gonna see if I can find it. So here's, Carrie says, lovely, thank you so much. So these are these. Let me see if I can find Mimi's tree because she did this really cute one. I'm just not sure where I put it. Oh, I can't find it. So what I'm going to do is actually make one that's similar to it. And so I'm going to just get some more of the 20 gauge wire. Here's the 20 gauge. And with one, so this, for this idea, I thought, wouldn't it be cool to do a tree with one piece of wire? So let's just try this. So we're, because normally the trees are made with several pieces of wire. So I thought this would be fun to try something with one piece of wire. So the idea behind this, let me move these ones, and you could also do it in a frame, but I was thinking it would be cool just to do one where we just bend this, and yeah, I kind of forget what hers looked like now, but it was, she basically had found a piece of wire in the car, and she twisted it into this tree, which, and it was so cute. So. I thought it'd be fun to do something similar to that. And the idea of, because sometimes, you know, when you make things with one piece of wire, it's certainly much easier than doing it with several pieces of wire. So thanks for the hearts, guys. So let's see what we can do if we just do, it's nice when it's not like too, too even. So if we did something like that, and the other thing you could do is actually, if you make these longer, you can like hook them around the outside of the of the frame. But if we did something like this, and I was actually thinking this would be really cute to do something like a wire woven tree too. So, and I always like it when it's got a little bit of, uh, how do you say, like a little bit of movement in the tree. So if we do something like this, okay, if we just get like the shape of a tree a little bit, and then what we wanna do is just bend these and just trying to make some kind of, if we bend it around, if we bend it behind itself, it might look better. And just to get some kind of silhouette of a tree. So if we've got the kind of a, the branches going here, okay, I'm just really freehanding it. So I'm not quite sure what it's going to do, but if we bring that in and then this one too, we can, and this is a sort of design that I might actually develop further, but for now, I'm just going to try it like this because I usually make the trees with several wires, but I thought it would be fun to do something a little bit different. So if we just keep going like this and around and then bring one up like this and just see what we can do. And that would finish up here. And then we could probably also um, add some greenery or something to it as well, or, or beads, I guess, even. The advantage, of course, when you use separate wires is you can add uh, as many beads to it as you want, like the beads or the stones. A lot of people add the semi-precious stones, which are super cool. So we're just going to, so what about a little twist? Yeah, so we could, this one, you could definitely twist the wire around. The idea I had for this was to try to do kind of a silhouette. Um, for sure, when you use several wires, it's really, you know, it's really cool to do the, the twistiness. So I'm going to see what I could do just with simple, like simple one continuous wire. And then we'll go from there and see what we can do with it. Yeah. Sometimes I wish you guys could like send me little sketches if you have ideas of something like specific that you, because sometimes explaining uh, ideas uh, is a little bit hard. What kind of tree are you making? So this, I'm not exactly sure what kind of tree it is. It's it's more sort of 
a kind of abstract thing. I'm just kind of going with a concept and to see if indeed it will work because it might or might not work. So the idea was to try a tree that has is made with just one wire. So this would be like the beginning aspects of it and it's more like a little bit more like a a silhouette thing. Yeah, so there so so this is just a basic silhouette of a tree. And this too, you could probably put it within a frame. Uh, I think for now, I'm just gonna do it pretty simple. So to compare it to the sketch that I did, so I did like a little sketch like that. And then I was thinking it would be cool to add some wire in there. But for that, you would wanna use a thinner wire. So let's see what, we, what would happen if we just got some of this uh, 24 gauge wire and I'll try to um, weave some in there and see how it works. So this project actually might not get finished, but I thought it would be cool to try it at least. So the idea would be if you did want to add a bit of woven wire, you could just go ahead in here. I'm going to leave a little bit of an end there, and then we're just going to twist it. And I know a lot of you guys in the, in the Wire Art and Jewelry Makers Club do some amazing wire weaving like it's definitely not something that I'm a professional at like I I like attempting it but some of you guys are like next level wire weavers which is really amazing so if we just go ahead like that we're gonna go in there and then the idea would be just if we go in and then try to weave back and forth and this you could you could do different colors if you wanted uh, you could do uh, different, you know, different sizes of wire. I thought I'd just see how it might look like this. Now, the idea of this is, with the wire weaving, is you're filling in the shape with a little bit of texture. It gives it a little bit more body, which is really super interesting. And when I started making wire, it was just wire. I didn't use beads, I didn't use anything else. It was just like really wire silhouettes. And then now uh, there's so much more, you know, so many more ideas out there of things to do. And like I said, a lot of people um, do this wire weaving and it's, it's just gorgeous. Like, I mean, some of the pieces must take forever to do. So this is just a basic wire weave. Basically, I'm just like going around the wire and then in and out. And I haven't quite thought about what I'm gonna do with the with the tree itself yet, but I thought this might be a way just to fill out the body of the tree a little bit more. Like you can see it just, it gets filled out a little bit more. And then probably as I'm going up, I should tighten it up a little bit more just to see how it goes. And we're just gonna go in like that. And, oh, my computer went off. Hang on there. I don't know if we had, I hope we didn't have a power failure. My computer just shut off. So I'm just gonna keep going with this and hopefully we're gonna be good. I think I'm gonna finish off because I'm not sure what's going on with that. So that's the idea is we're gonna weave it in place a little bit like that. And for some reason we're blurry. I'm not quite sure what's going on. And we're going to just clip that. So let me just do these. I'm gonna put these here. I'm just gonna check in the other room because I think we might be having a power failure. No, we're good, but I'm not quite sure why my computer shut off. So we're just gonna keep going with this. So guys, this is what we've got so far with the tree. I'm gonna just see how it would work if we just went ahead and kind of tighten these up a little bit. So if we tighten these up, then you could go in and you can actually take this wire and wind it around these edges a bit like that. See, so we could use these this thinner wire to tighten it up a little bit. So we're gonna go back here, okay. Yeah, I did a lot. <laughs> yeah, you're right, I wasn't sure how much I'd get done today, 
but we're we're getting quite a bit done so I'm just gonna go ahead I want to somewhat finish this one tree uh, there's definitely a lot more you can do with it you can add uh, some beads to it if you want so and then this one you can you can add more uh, wire down there so let me just add a little bit more wire and then I think we'll be good for that one so I'll just grab another piece this is the 24 gauge okay because I kind of want to just make sure it's finished and we're just going to get this uh, wire in here and basically this extra wire is going to hold the whole piece together and uh, so this is one idea to do a tree where the silhouette is all one piece of wire but then it's kind of nice just to tighten it up and add some things i would say because it's the first day of homeschooling oh wow yes that's right it is the first day of school here in quebec as well that's really cool that you homeschool so do you do a lot of um a lot of like art projects with it with the homeschooling i, I imagine that you would yeah that sounds really interesting that sounds really fun i just love teaching so so to me, it's uh, anything, anything artsy, crafty, you know, not so much teaching uh, reading and things like that, but definitely teaching uh, arts and crafts. I love that. It's so much fun. I used to teach at schools and I used to go into libraries and I also did birthday parties, all kinds of things. So yeah, it's fun. Actually, I'm doing uh, some workshops at our local library at Christmas time. So that's fun. I don't do as many as I used to but I definitely do some, uh, you know, every now and then for adults and, and kids actually. So you see, we're just, I'm just made a little loop at the top. There's a lot of clay and painting and drawing. Oh, that's so cool, nice. Yeah, I love painting too. Painting and mixed media. Yeah, I remember when my daughter was in kindergarten, they used to make the letters out of clay. That was really, that was really fun. They really uh, did a lot of sort of kinetic learning type of thing. So. It's based online. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, cool. Yeah, I know there's a lot of homeschooling associations too. So, uh, so there's certainly a lot of support for people that want to homeschool now. No, that's really interesting. So we're gonna just uh, keep winding the wires around, and this basically I'm just kind of just adding a little bit of dimension to this one. And like I said, if you want to add beads, you can. Uh, for now, I'm just going to keep it relatively simple and just to kind of wind everything together. It's getting a little crazy, but it's okay. It's just it's just the concept because sometimes it takes a few tries to actually get it in a way that you want it. But I think for now, we're just going to go like that. So we have a little bit, you know, it's kind of cool. A little bit of the tree going on and... Um, Peggy says she loves drawing, not so much clay and coloring because of disabilities. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's not, sometimes we're restricted in what we can do. I actually personally don't like clay. I find it really messy. Um, I don't mind Fimo. I, I find Fimo is, is okay, but I find, uh, I don't know, I find the clay really dries out my hands and I, I don't enjoy it so much. But uh, but I know some certainly some people that love clay. It's just, it's just not really my thing. So here we go. So this is pretty well done. Okay. Thank you. So Peggy says it looks nice. So it definitely, you know, has potential. I think there's a lot more we can do with this to kind of fix it up. So let's see what we did today. We did the tree like that. We did the apple tree. I think I really like that one. And then we did the star. So there's our pieces that we did today. It's blurry for some reason. Oh, there we go, that's better. Perfect. And yeah, so thanks everybody so much for watching. I'm gonna upload the video to YouTube and then whoever's on YouTube and not Facebook can see the video as well. I think I'm gonna to try to do videos on uh, Facebook for the next little while. I just think the quality's better. So Angelique says that's a fun Halloween tree. Oh, awesome, that's great. Well, yeah, and if you guys make any of these projects, be sure to share them in the Wire Art and Jewelry Makers Club. That would be amazing. I always love to see what uh, you guys put your own spin on these projects, which is amazing. Peggy loves the apple tree. Cool. Yeah, I'm really happy with the apple tree. No, I really enjoyed that one. So guys, I'm going to say goodbye. And this month, I'm going to be posting videos on how to make uh, rings for the whole month of September. So look out for a ring making video on Saturday. 
and another live stream next week and we'll see you guys the next time thanks for watching bye